Hey guys, this video is all about how to make low poly hair inside of Blender. So, if you need it for your, your low poly 3D models, then it's the right for you for you. Enjoy. So guys, my last video on how to make low poly hair, uh, the hair neck was quite simple. So, today's video is how to make a more advanced hairstyle. So, that's the really thing. image and it's just going to be of some hair so you can just see it's just a braid kind of thing so to start off you go and you have to separate a scalp from the head just like this so we just duplicate it and then press p and spouse selection and then you have to start designing a scalp you kind of just have to start shaping a scalp almost and then you can start just using uh, edge slide and the knife tool to make your scalp don't worry if there's some squares, triangles, and gons, it's not really that uh, important. Okay, cool. So next off, we're going to add a... Next off, we're going to add a solidify modifier. And then we're going to drag it up. And so you can have a sculpt like this. Okay. So first off, we're going to design this part of hair. And then we're going to add in the braid. Well, we can add in the braid first, actually. So... Let's start off with adding a mesh cube or actually let's add a mesh plane and then we can go rotate and scale so we're going to have it like this and then we can scale this up rotate and go top view and then start positioning this this is going to be for this braid so we're going to extrude and then we go side view g and then we're going to extrude, uh, select both of them, extrude, and then we can join these so that it doesn't clip into the head. And then we can extrude, and then extrude again, and then we can add a mirror modifier. The, the rotation is messed up on this model, but we can just go Control A, Scale, Rotation, and Location, and then set it back to X, okay? And then I'm going to set Clipping on, and then we can drag this to the middle. So there you go. Then just drag this in, and then we can go add a solidify modifier and drag this up. Okay, we can just change this the shining a bit, and then we can drag up this, the thickness. And then we can actually take off the clipping, and then go to back view, and then rotate, and put it like this. Okay, and then we can go take this piece like this, okay, and then we go Alt H, get the skull back, we can go, um, we can go fade this kind of thing into the hair, like this, and then we can go, actually, we can go to the center file and select this button so it's easier to move it, so there. We can position this here. So you kind of just have this hovering on top of the hair. Okay. And then we can start roughing up the scalp a bit. Uh, for the base hair. Like that. And then we can go join this vertex over here. And then we select these four faces. Delete. And then start extruding down. Okay. And then we can even just add another edge loop, and then it goes extrude this one down. Okay. So I guess this is the basics of it so far. And then we can also extrude this down. And then we can rotate and extrude it to make this look messy as well. So go back view again. And we can change up the shape like this. And then we can also select these and then use V to rip and then start changing up the shape of them to make individual braids. And then we can also turn off clipping and then also change the shape over here. So we're just changing it like this and then create creating this messy look. So we just bring this again. Okay, I actually want this hair to be short, so just like a reference. So we're just going to drag this up. 
and like that. And then we can just select this one and drag it up to. Okay, and then just drag this in so it makes it more tight. So if it is actually a um, what's it like a braid going around, and then we can add a material to it. So we can go add a new, and then add a brown color, like the reference. It's kind of very light and desaturated color. So we can do the same thing here. Select those, add a roughness. Uh, maybe like a darker, and then maybe add make it more blondish, something. And then we can select the eyebrows, give it the same color. Okay. So right now it doesn't really stand out. Even I guess with ambient occlusion, it's a bit better. So I mean, you could assign a different material to it. Um, and then something else that we can also do is just uh, like duplicate these faces, and then shift E. And then go G, drag them out, and then start changing the shape of them so we get more of a more layered look of the hair. So just the same thing, make it look messy. So we're just adding like thickness and dimension to the hair. And then we can also drag these back in. The topology isn't great, but it's more about the look of it. So this is looking quite nice and we can even just drag up the thickness on this the braid and then drag this out a bit and that kind of gives you a very messy look so what you could even do is go add a good shading and then select the hair and then go add a color ramp and then take this base color drag it over to both sides and then add a gradient Rain texture, plug the color in, and then drag the color into the base color. Yeah. And then one color, we'll have to select a darker one. Okay. So you can see this is not the, the position one for the gradient because it's going from left to right. So if you have the node wrangler add on enabled, you can go control, so you can select the gradient, select control T, and then you can go use the rotation over here. So go 90 degrees. And then you can see that we have a gradient in the hair. So let's change this, make it a bit darker. So you could have it that way, or you could even switch them. So like a dark to light. Kind uh, of depends on what you like. Um, all right, let's see. I think I like the light to dark, so like that. Uh, you can actually just do flip color ramp if you want to do it quickly. Maybe I'll make it a lighter color. Like that. And you can also change the factor of it like this. Um, and yeah, if you want to change the curve. And there you go. That's how you make low poly hair in Bender. Yo guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I just want to let you know that I also stream here on this YouTube channel every Monday and Friday at 1pm UK time. So if you're interested, make sure to subscribe and look around for those. Cheers and have a great day.